Welcome to the tutorial for Flutter Portfolio, a modern, responsive and open source web application built using Flutter Web. This project was designed to showcase professional achievements while maintaining a clean, scalable architecture. In this video, I will walk you through the key features, the technologies used and the development process. By the end, you will have the knowledge to customize this portfolio for your own needs. Let's get started. After a long time, I wanted to create some open source projects and maybe some tutorials. Again, I want to make my website also as open source project and I'm gonna also write a medium article as this YouTube video tutorial. First, let us see the features. Our website, which live here, okay, is a single page. It's responsive, we can see, okay, we have a mobile version and we have desktop version maybe a tablet version we have localization we can change the language okay so we have social media links we can launch the social media for example YouTube okay and we have contact site when we uh, click this button we open the mail and we can uh, send a mail to contact with me or contact with you for example uh, when you uh, modify uh, the codes so for the prop site we use architecture uh, in our project we check architecture MVVM architecture and we use state management it's a river port we use auto generated assets we use flutter GAN uh, package we use make file which is good we use dependency injection and so on so let me show the codes when we want to run this project first i want to show a make file file so this codes okay from 3 to 10 tells you to if you use make release run command okay you are gonna use all these codes together for a one time for example if i want to clean my flutter project what i do in general flutter clean right or if i want to update my pub spec file what i do flutter pub get so instead of writing one by one i just write make release run and after that it call flutter clean flutter pub get flutter again dart run boot runner etc one by one just using one command so i use make file and it's good for my project in general i use make file because it's easier to run the commands right for the pub spec yaml i use google fonts for my fonts font awesome okay url launcher to launch url hive for the local database get it uh, river pod etc for the architecture site as i said i use mvvm because official flutter documentation says use mvvm at least use separation of concern because we need to separate the files and folders from each other to have a clean code database right in main that that file after i ensure the widgets are initialized flutter widgets I call injection setup method. This method created by me to register my local database class. Okay. After I register my local database, I call my local database and start the local database. Why I use local database? Because I want to uh, register my uh, current language to the uh, browser. For example, okay, let me show. Right now I use uh, English version. Uh, is a default one right but i wanted to uh, change language as turkish so this is turkish right now right this is not an english so i close the websites and i want to open again so you can see it is turkish right now because currently i choose this language and i wanted to uh, stay that language until i change so it's important so that i use local database so after that, I run my application using provider scope because we use Riverbot as a state management solution in that project. So for, a, for the child site, we have app widget, which is the main widget actually. And this is exist in initialization folder. We use our state here. It's actually coming from our uh, home view model provider. 
okay the language parameter so we give this language parameter to the app language and we give the app language to the local site so for the constants we have colors for the design system we have some uh, you know common widgets uh, in the past i named this design system as common widgets but then i learned there exists a pattern about this one which is actually a design system yeah i also learn as you with time of course and so it's so important by the way it's so important to be a student always until we die of course anyway for the footer site i also put footer to the design system because if we have more than one page in our application we want to show the footer in every page almost so i also put the footer site to the design system folder we have dependency injection initialization parts mixins i use mixin why because i have some common functions like launch mail or launch website for example uh, here i launch my linkedin account or maybe i launch my uh, x account okay and here also i launch my x account okay i say follow me for example when i click this i launch my x account so that um or maybe not x accounts okay uh, it can be youtube also so i launched website at the end of the day i created that launch website function and i created that launch mail function for example using mixin and i use this mixin in my widgets to get this function so yeah that was a core folder for the data folder we have local database of course it could be remote database maybe also like maybe firebase okay we have also domain folder and in the domain folder we have adapter as a subfolder there could be some model folders also by the way we need adapters why because we have a local variable local class so we have not for example string we have not boolean we have not global ones and a generator of hive of course can't uh, be sure about for the all types I could have a local class, for example, right? It's, it's like a unique one. So we need to register the custom uh, adapter, custom thing to our Hive local database. Presentation folder has three different folders. This is for localization. This is for uh, generating assets. So for the home folder, we have three different folders and one file. State folder shows us state file. Okay, we have our app state. Actually, we don't use uh, is loading variable right now, but anyway, we have view model. Uh, I use state notifier provider uh, with river pod. For the widget sites, I separated the widgets of the home page, all widgets of the home page, as about open source, stay in touch, writing. These are the sections, right? For example, writing site, we have, we have open source, about is here directly without title. YouTube, uh, stay in touch. So I separated also widgets. So for the home page, as I said, I use mixing. Okay. So where, for example, for the app bar, yeah, here launch me, and we have app bar, we have the other widgets, etc. So that was uh, our uh, MVVM architecture files and folders that I used, and you can find uh, the related informations in the github readme file or maybe you can ask me some questions maybe you can open some issues if you have any problem thanks for watching stay tuned and goodbye for now